podcast for the second week in May 2011. And this time you've got the moon moving through from Cancer and Leo all the way through Virgo and Libra this week. So you're going to see those energies shifting for all of those signs, especially as you got the first quarter, energies growing, new projects building. Um, as far as over here in Taurus, you have Mars entering Taurus. So um, the energies that you do put forth uh, are going to be slow and steady wins the race. So don't push yourself too hard. Um, let's look at the seven day forecast. Monday starts off with a bang. Big surprises might happen Monday. Um, but in a good way, surprises that you create. Uh, if you need to cut things off or you know, curb your spending or tell somebody that you don't wanna talk to them so much anymore, Monday's a good day to break the news because that's gonna allow that change to happen faster. Uh, Tuesday is a great love day along with Sunday, so if you've got dates that you wanna match, match up, that's gonna be a good day to have it. Um, lots of yin-yang energy, the female and the male, um, allowing you to um, meet up with a good partner, especially for heterosexual couples. On Wednesday, you've got a good day for working on your finances and uh, building your career. So start working with your foundation since Saturn is still retrograde. It's gonna be a little tough going, but it can still happen. Thursday is a day to take it easy. Friday as well. Both those days have sort of hesitation markers on them. So if you can wait and think about a decision before making it, just uh, hang steady, think about it a lot. Um, that way you won't get another big surprise. Uh, you don't want to make decisions before you know all the answers. Saturday and Sunday on the weekend, if you can stay home at all, do it because it's a good day to really putter around the home, um, wait for messages to come to you as opposed to going out and uh, letting people know what's up and uh, you know, making a little love with your honey at home if you can. So have a good day.